week 1 st louis de montfort this week we shall focus on the example and words of the first great prophet of marian consecration we shall begin by learning about his life and then we shall ponder the essential aspects of his marian teaching day 1 the passionate saint of brittany take a look at a map of france now notice something about its shape see how one part sticks way out almost as if it were running away from the rest of the land mass ready to drive off into the Celtic sea that jutting arm in the northwest of the country is called brittany and that is where st louis de montfort grew up there is something special about brittany that seems to have had an influence of st louis its celtic roots brittany is considered one of the six celtic nations meaning that the celtic language and culture still survive so scratch that part about brittany being ready to drive into the celtic sea it is already in and swimming and one part of celtic culture seems to have seeped deeply into the heart of st louis the high spiritness of its warriors from ancient times celtic warriors have struck terror in the hearts of their enemies if you have ever seen the movie braveheart you know that what i mean think of the fearless figure of sir william wallace played by mel gibson and his crazy crew of scottish highlanders who take on an english army many times their size this was something of the celtic fighting spirit but the real life version is even more intense often wearing nothing but blue battle paint real celtic warriors would work themselves into a bloodthirsty fancy rush into combat screaming their hearts off and wildly slash bash and slice away at their enemies with huge two-handed swords these fierce fighting men despite their lack of discipline armor and order were extremely effective in battle because of their unmatched passion and ferocity throughout history nobody has wanted to mess with the crazy celtic warriors St. Louis dad Jean Grignan must have been descended from these wild men warriors for nobody wanted to mess with him either in fact he was known for having the most fiery temper in all of Brittany as one of the puts it he was a volcano frequently erupting St. Louis on the other hand was as gentle as a lamb right wrong He confessed that his temper was just as bad as his father's but Louis channeled his fiery passion not to threats and violence but to laboring for the greater glory of God well except for the time he knocked out a couple of drunks who would not stop heckling him while he preached we can get a better sense of Louis's remark couple zeal if we reflect on his short but incredibly productive priestly life when he died in 1716 st louis was just 43 years old having been a priest for only 16 years tireless labors to bring souls to jesus through mary especially by his teaching and endless succession of parish missions brought about his early death as if these life sapping laborers were not suffering enough louis had to bear vicious per- persecution from the clergy and jansenist heresies even to the point of being physically attacked and poisoned by them despite all this our indomitable warrior kept advancing on the battlefield continuously preaching his trademark path to jesus through mary in fact when leaders of in the church in france thought they had put out an end to his work louis walked the 1000 mile journey to rome and asked the pope for his wisdom and counsel the pope not only told him to go back to france and continue preaching but also awarded him the title apostolic missionary 
obediently and joyfully our saint returned to france where he continued to preach right and patiently bear his many sufferings out of love for jesus mary and souls saint louis passion and zeal lit a fire in a young carol volti wa the future pope john paul ii a few years before his death the pope was able to realize a lifelong dream and visit de montfort's tomb He said on that occasion, I am happy to begin my pilgrimage in France under the sign of this great figure. You know that I owe much to this saint and to his true devotion to the Blessed Virgin. Now what about us? Do we have a fire in our hearts as we begin this retreat? We should, or at least we should strive for it. Desire and generosity are key ingredients. ingredients to making a successful retreat may mary in the seed for us and may the holy spirit fill us with a passion to consciously make these days of retreat despite any fatigue distractions or obstacles and let us remember that what we may have to endure in terms of the discipline of prayer is nothing compared to what saint louis went through and he will be interceding for us relying on his intercession and that of the mother of god let us resolve right now to dedicate ourselves to this retreat with the intensity and zeal of a celtic warrior throughout without all the face paint and screaming today's prayer come holy spirit living in mary help me to make this retreat with generosity and zeal come holy spirit living in mary help me to make this retreat with generosity and zeal come holy spirit living in mary help me to make this retreat with generosity and zeal may good lord through the intersection of mary bless us all amen